to them now. Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Pike Dude, Gop Glam. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, 22 years of age. She's 763 centimeters tall and weighed in 127 pounds. She will record all 23 wins, seven losses, and one draw. She is IMSA female featherweight champion, representing Luxembourg. Let's hear it for Nak Muay Thai, Muay Thai Isan, Mari Hines! And Topman fighting on the Blue Tanner. 16 years of age. She's 58 centimeters tall and weighed 126 point eight pounds. She will record of 30 wins, six losses and two draw. She is Thailand champion and 126 pounds, representing Nontaburi province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Rathang Mundon, Kwan Khao, Po Mung Oh, this is the loudest I've heard the RWS crowd for a while. <laughs> Here we go. Round number one of the scheduled three rounds. Two minutes for the females. All right, and here we go. You can expect Quan Kao to be the more aggressive of the two. Mary, known for her experience, controlling the distance and the pace. Here we go right away, the timing, timed left kick from Mary. The question is, oh! oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Marie originally targeting it there with those body kicks, oh. beautiful! Four kicks in a row already. And we've seen Mary perform before and sometimes getting a little bit fatigued towards the end, so this is going to be interesting. I'm also intrigued to know how much time she spent training because she actually finished her exams last Friday, two years into her second year, sorry, I've just finished her second year of international business. And she seems okay yeah, in round number one, she's performing well. A nice left and right hand there coming in by Marie Hines. Yeah, and so far, somehow, Kwanka not pushing the pace as she should. Oh, the head kick missing by a little bit. That left kick to the body is money by Marie. Yeah, absolutely, beautiful one two as well. Kwan Kao, less experienced, only 16 years of age, as you said, Aaron, right now, just trying to find her distance and rhythm. Oh! Oh! Every time Marie feeds a combination, it's that left kick to the body every single time. Right kick that time, oh. and then a left kick. Yeah, that's beautiful. And again, you got to look at the timing. Mary waiting for Kwan Kao to do just a little step, pushing forward to throw that left kick. Yeah, Kwan Kao already looking like she's Starting to think about what Marie's doing instead of what she wants oh. to do. Right kick, right hand there by Marie. Yeah, that's definitely not a good position to be in. Kwan Kao needs to push forward. She's also the shoulder of the two. See Kwan Kao looking for a left hook to the body there. Marie steps in with a nice left jab. Marie controlling the distance right now and already the end of the first round. The round that was all Mary, if you ask me, Aaron. I 100% agree with you. Yeah, great combinations. Like I said, that left kick connecting over and over again, causing one to the round number two. This is going to be a big round for the young Frank Kao. Can she pull this one off? And perhaps again. Sometimes you see it, fighters having a game plan of letting the first round go to just push the action in the second on. Was that the right game plan? Was that a game plan at all or not? We're about to find out. There we go, Kwan Kao pushing forward right away, but Marie Hines, Marie Hines waiting for her with those middle kicks and push kicks again. Just too quick with that left and right leg to the board. Oh, right oh. back to the head! Almost rocky, Kwan Kao. Oh, slipping. You want Marie with those left and right kicks. Superb. 
Yeah, trying to find out, trying to out hustle in, out aggressive. Difficult right now. She fought in a similar way against Selena Flores. Mm. Frustrating her opponents. Again, left jab off the back Ooh, foot. Left big elbow. elbow as well. It really was. Left hand there by Marie Hines. Yeah, and you can just see the distance and perfect timing from Maria Hines every time Juanca pushes forward. It's not only that, she's got great head movement as well. Oh, and able to again. counter a lot of strikes and defend. Yeah, Seems like every time right. that Juanca throws a leg kick, oh, she blocks look at it. That. Every single time she throws a low kick, the oh. there to block it. That was a better left body shot there by Quang Cao. There's that left kick once again to the midsection by Marie Hines. Uh, another left hand there, that time rocking Quang Cao it seems. Yeah, and Quang Cao needs to make it a dirty fight. Yes. Don't overthink it. Don't play oh. the distance game because Mary will come out of top, on top. Yeah, in a clinch, wow. She's connected with what? Two, I think two head kicks in this round has Marie so far. Just, oh, oh. what an elbow that was. Well, that might be the most significant or most aggressive, at least, strike that we've seen Marie throw. Both fighters looking for kicks through the body and connecting with them. Yeah, a little bit better there from Juan Cao. Oh, Marie. Marie slowing down a little bit. Well, we go, end of round at number two. Not the same for Marie, but a better round by yeah, Quan Cao. Round. Not sure whether she will actually take the round, will it be enough? I don't think it will be, if I'm being honest. I feel like Marie was in control for the majority of the game in round number two. She's going to have to fire it on in round number three to try and drop Marie Hines to get the draw, or indeed to try and knock her out for the victory. And then after that, it is Raj Damner Stadium title time, boys and girls. Stay with us. All right, here we go. Round number three. Pankow needs almost, oh! oh! Almost a miracle to be able to knock out Mary Hines at this point. Oh, beautiful. Right. Marie is very much a matador in this fight. And Quan Cao, the bull, just cannot find her target at all. She's been very evasive. Oh. Now, Mary aware that she's up by two rounds. Pretty much just needs to survive the last one to win the fight. Oh. Marie showing good dexterity with her kicks. Much better round from the Thai fighter, though. Attempts to low kick there by Quan Cao. Again, she does need a knockdown to at least draw the fight. Tough ask. Absolutely. Again, a tactical and defensive fighter like Mary. I feel like Marie is just frustrated with her footwork. The way that she's able to fight off a back foot. Ooh. On the back foot, should I say. is very impressive. Uh, just using the ring to our advantage, moving around. Wearing down the second, got left up there by Marie. Of course, Quan Cao needs to take a few more risks. She walks into that left hand. We saw Quan Cao looking at her corner momentarily. Maybe looking for a solution she's not finding right now. Comes in body shot, Ooh. but then she hits a one-two by Marie Hines from Luxembourg. Oh, and again. Great footwork, counter left hook there. Oh, and again, oh. that left hand. Stunning work here by Marie Hines with 20 seconds left on the court. She's been pretty much flawless throughout this entire fight. Oh, yeah, absolutely, wow. What a performance from Marie Hines again here in RWS. Okay, the hype is real, great show sportsmanship. Once again here on RWS between the two combines. But Marie Hines is showing a display of Muay Thai. It just shows the recognition is worthy. That was beautiful. All the facets of Muay Thai on display. Let's have a look at the highlights there. Marie Hines with that left kick. Juan Cao trying but just can't get towards Marie. She walks into that left and right hand combination. 
That was the second round of tempted elbows. Yeah, and every time Quan Cao pushed forward, he got clipped. Yeah, again, that was the difference of experience. Quan Cao, all credit to her, only 16 years of age. We know Sunshine's performance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judge scorecard. All three judges, score is about 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision. performance by Marie Hines, ladies and gentlemen.